smack them. At the end of each day, you have to select the cops that will work tomorrow shift. Oh, this is really fun. There's a lot of management going on. Well, you need to take a break. So uh, get my boy Mustard. He's going to be over there. You can work a Tuesday shift for us. Uh, Rosencraft, you seem like you got plenty of energy, so you're going to work a shift. Uh, Shinny seems to be doing just fine. I'm not going to work every day. It, two days. I Sorry. Uh, Aronovich. Uh, Birch. You didn't even do anything. I don't remember sending you anywhere. Why are you tired? You should take a day off. Uh, Meradian. Uh-oh. I think everybody's gonna have to work. Hold on now. One, two, that's four, that's six, eight, ten, twelve. Yo, all of you are gonna have to work. What are you talking about? I only have third... Uh, I, yes, you are. Somebody needs to work. Okay, so we need more cops, because... I have three people that are telling me they're not going to work. Oh, no, two people. Three people? Yeah, three people. Can I fill a shift 10 out of 13? Yay? I hope this works out. We need more people. I didn't realize that that was going to be an issue. I didn't think that some people were basically going to go tell me to F off, and that was an acceptable answer. We are really struggling on people if we just allow people to be like, F off, and we're still keeping them on. I, uh, did I miss something? No, no, I just want to move into the office where you were working yesterday. So you, uh, you're moving into a smaller office? I'm moving where I'm more comfortable. That's the office I used to share with Gail. It's, yeah, it's probably too big for me, but it'll be just right for you. Um, uh, can I help? No, no, I, I don't like people pawing my stuff. You could get a bite to eat. I'll be finished in, like, 20 minutes. I can handle this. At least I can handle this. Okay, then I, uh, I'll go down to the dining hall then. Call me if you need me. Ah, uh, poor Lily, man. She seems to be having a tough time. I should check in on her. I want to make sure she stays okay. Also, where's my man's uniform? Everybody else is wearing. Ah, Mr. Nash. Glad we have a chance to get acquainted again. This time under better circumstances, huh? Our first meeting didn't go so smooth. <laughs> you really must forgive me, Mr. Nash, for being so rude to you. It was rude of me to arrest you. <laughs> you gotta admit, you don't really look like an undercover cop. Am I right, guys? <laughs> but I didn't hit you too hard. I tried to be... I tried to be delicate with elderly gentlemen. I'm not some kind of monster. <laughs> I didn't mean to offend anyone. You really shouldn't be offended. We're all grown-ups here. Why be offended? Why are you offended, Mr. Nash? I gotta say, I expect more from a senior police officer. Well, I don't know. More, more professionalism, you know? You seem like the kind of guy who sits behind a desk doing paperwork. Am I right, Mr. Nash? That the bathroom? Weren't you gonna drink your coffee, Mr. Nash? You're not incontinent, are you? Mr. Nash, do you have a problem? Is it an age thing, or did I just hit you too hard in the kidneys? If that's the problem, then I apologize, Mr. Nash. I tried. I tried not to hit any vital organs. Oh, yeah, whoop his ass. Whoop his ass. <laughs> yes, sir. Ooh. Is he done? That's it? Yeah, I think he had enough. Yeah, I think Mr. Charlie's doing mighty fine on the ground like that. He beat his ass with a mop. Good luck living that one down. Also, maybe watch yourself around Charlie. He may shoot you in the back. That dude seemed kind of crazy up top. Love the 50s noir music. Always puts me in the mood for cop work. All right, it's a new day. My daughter, no muster. Don't, 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 don't piss me off. You my, you my guy. My daughter was skating and she fell and broke her finger. Can I take her to the hospital? Which finger did she break? Nah, man, take her to the hospital, dog. Yeah, man, go take care of yourself. 
Here we go. Mr. Nash, yesterday I had a great trip to Ripton. I didn't let you do anything. Thanks for letting me go. The guitar specialist was a real master. Now our axes are roaring like true stadium masters. Unfortunately, our drummer Lenny lost his sticks during the trip, and these were special sticks, carved from Grind Germansburg Black Oak. He made them himself. Can you imagine? Anyway, we need to go out into the woods, find the right kind of oak, cut it down, and cut enough sticks that Lenny can throw them off the stage and not be all cheap about it. So you'll have to manage without me for now, but uh, uh, tomorrow I'll promise I'll work a double shift. I, I promise. I don't even have an option to fire that guy. That's what kills me. How many people are we down to? Four, six, eight, nine. Yikes. Nine out of 13. And he is steadily getting tired. All right, load up. Ugh, I really don't want to go through all that again. So I'm just going to auto assign. Unless I see somebody has something that I don't think they should have. But I feel pretty confident in this stuff. Yeah, that seems fine. Start the day. Tough job. Working these mean city. Oh, oh, got a call. Here we go. Make of sharp wood. An elderly man wants to take a loan out to kill his wife. For 40 years of marriage, he's been nothing but boring. But you don't, do, don't, but you don't even care. You give loans to bloodsuckers all day. He continued arguing with the blank, blah, blank bank clerk. And when the elderly man was finally denied credit, he made a scene and lowered his pants to teach a lesson to the corrupt banking system. Ooh, I don't have a lot of officers. All right, you're tired, Gilstern. Take your butt out there. Take your butt out there. I'm going to just send low, low, low officers. And uh, Birch, help him out. Okay. Take uh, take Meridian off. And, uh, you know, Belmont. Send Belmont on out there. We're running out of officers. This is getting tough. Tough job patrolling these Alaskan streets. It's cold and wet. And so, oh, back to work. Oh, this dude is really about to take a sh on the desk. The old man, his trousers down, is up on a table, squawing and groaning. I was refused a loan as a regular customer, so I'm ready to make a special deposit. Here it comes. Just a second. All right, well, Grandpa, put your saggy ass back in your pants or it's going to get kicked. That's funny, but I don't think it's going to work with this guy. Restrain the old man. Sneak up on the old man. Does anybody have great sneak? No, but that would have been a great answer. Uh, Restraining the old man. Anybody have great strength? No. Grandpa, get your ass in your pants. We got one person with some negotiation, so... Try that. Let's see what happens. The old man spots the cop, sheds his trousers, and runs out the back exit. Oh, he ran it out bare ass in the cold. Okay, chase the old man. Do we have any speed? We got some speed here. Chase the old man. Shoot the old man with a taser. You don't have the required equipment. Oh, that's great. Nobody brought a taser. Shoot into the air. Not going to shoot in the air with a naked man running away. I just don't. Again, there's no threat towards us. So, hey, Gildenbird, I know you're a little tired, but you got some speed to you. Chase him down grab him that's my boy the cop catches up and arrests the pantsless old man thank you rang up all right you need to get negotiation or something going here because our right, what do we really need we really need some stealth yeah let's get some stealth going amongst y'all thanks for this incredible service here in the shadow perk he can walk in front of people and not even be noticed and he can hide really good behind cover love that who else level leveled up birch birch did some leveling up here his intelligence is really high let's get your uh let's get you running i don't have some people who can run a cop will shoot his revolver three times in a row however his accuracy will suffer a little that's fine the cop has a better chance of dodging animal shots animal shots enemy shots i saw a ferret thought animal Cool. Loving that. Love that my caps are ranking up here. All right. What's next? Oh, yeah. See, oh, nope. Right back to it. 538 on our way here. Wendy Perto heard two loud shots. This is trouble in the street. And now she's afraid that bandits will break into her house to kill her and her husband. All right. Let's send some people with some experience. Flower pots. You're on it. 
get Meridian out there for some experience and uh, uh, send my boy Mizuku. Yeah, that seems like a good, strong team. Take care of Bidna, y'all. Snow drop from Art Clumsy. Mr. Nash out back behind the station. One of the snow drifts started melting and the legs of some half decayed corpse appeared. Uh oh, what are we supposed to do? Did we dig him out and search him? Or call the guys from the morgue and let them do it? Better make up your mind quick before that cop corpse starts to stink. Dig him out and search, I guess. Uh, uh, I, I think the people from the morgue should do it, right? Like that's that's kind of their job. I, I dig him out and search, I guess. I don't know. Somebody search him. Hopefully, I didn't just mess up an investigation because we didn't do it properly. I should call the morgue people. I don't know. Snowdrop, Art Clumsy. Nash, we pulled the filthy corpse out of the snowdrift, searched his pockets, but they were all empty. I suggested the boys at least get his boots off. They look good as new. But as soon as we untied one of the shoelaces, it started stinking so bad that I had to throw up. I need to go home and rest for a while. Better drown those boots in cologne before you give them to anybody. I'm not going to give them to anybody. Why did you sniff his boots? You have received leather boots. You've got some valuables, but nowhere to keep them. You'll just have to leave them in the corridor until you find a better place to put them. Maybe you'll be lucky and no one will walk off with them. I doubt it. Now I'm down Clemsy. Goodbye, Clemsy. Tough on these streets when all my officers are... Are you kidding me? If the criminal has already disappeared from the scene of the crime, a full investigation will have to be opened. For this kind of job, a cop's speed and accuracy are unlikely to help. You'll need employees with brains. Okay. James Jameson Hill, someone stole a VCR from the Elmer family residence. I've had that happen before. I've had my TV stolen and my VCR, and I never got them back. Uh, show unit info. Who's got intelligence here? Uh, you got some. You got a lot. You got some. You got some. You got some. All right. I don't want to send somebody with very high rank in case we need to send you on another call. So we'll send a. Uh, you seem pretty smart. Yeah, go take care of it, man. Go take care of it. Do your thing. I love the music in the background. That's really good. It's, it's putting me in the mood. This game is fun. I'm not even going to lie. And I've been up for at least 12 hours, and this is still cutting through the tiredness. I don't even need a Red Bull right now. Feeling good. Did you get to the scene? Are we investigating? In progress. Wait, shooting? There weren't any gunshots. The two loud backfires came from Miss Pierdo's neighbor's moped. He built one that runs on a mixture of alcohol and manure. Seen the price of diesel? I don't need it if I... If I I don't need it if I got to pay that much. Hey, if it works, it works. Uh-oh. Wait, kindergarten. A woman reports that her baby, along with her stroller, was taken while she was picking up her older son from kindergarten. I literally turned away for a second. I was helping Christopher put on his scarf, and the stroller just disappeared. That's not good. Uh, flower pots. Get out there. Handle that kind of business. Get some experience on uh, kidnapping cases. And uh, you already been out on one case, uh, so we'll send out um, Belmont. Go get some experience, my young lads. What's this? I don't know what this is. I don't want to click it because I'm afraid of what it might do. No, I'll hold off from clicking that. I don't know what it does. Anything? No notes about our investigation? Outside the kindergarten, there's a man who looks like a drug addict. He's pushing a baby stroller. Hey, we didn't have to go far to find him. Turn on the siren. Nope, last time they ran and there's a baby involved, so let's not do it. Pull in front of him. Hey, Pops, what's your baby's name? Maybe talking to him could be good. We have someone who's really good at negotiating, so... uh, uh I just don't want him to get scared and kill the baby, so... No loss of life. Let's just talk. Start with talking. Rather than answering, the man ditches the stroller and runs down a narrow alley. So we can, I don't, last time I drove a car down, it just did not go well. I don't want to get anybody killed. Um, chase after the suspect. Do you have any speed? We do. Flower Pots has a lot of speed. There we go. 
The cop caught up with the suspect and arrested him. It turned out that he wanted to sell the stroller for money to feed his drug habit. He was so strung out that he didn't notice there was a child inside. There you go, Flower Pots. That's how you handle business. That's why she's a senior officer. That's why we promoted her. Well, we didn't promote her. We gave her a pay raise. We didn't give her a pay raise. She's great, though. She's great, and she knows she's great. That's what's important. Nice. Well done, Flower Pots. Uh, I mean, you're really leveled up in a lot of stuff, so let's just kind of make you well-rounded. Uh, um, I have a lot of shooters. Let's get you up in... Um, let's max out your intelligence. How about that? The location of the criminals is highlighted for one turn. Works once per mission. Yeah, that could be a good one, I think. What else we got? That's it? Only person level up? Nice. What about the investigation? Anything on the whole in progress. missing VCR, illegal cells. A bartender is complaining that an old disabled man is standing near the entrance to his bar selling homemade alcohol. Be careful with him. I think he's only pretending to be crippled, said the bartender. Okay, Rosencrantz or uh, Birch, get on out there. And we'll just send you out there for backup just in case. It doesn't say like I need a lot, but you know, we'll send you out there for backup anyway. Sending. That leaves us two officers on call while our other ones come back. Nice. I am loving this management system. This is a lot of fun. It's 1 a.m. now. It is 1 a.m. in the morning. We've been on shift all day. Hey, how'd the investigation go, Ari? Ari Arnovich interrogated some of the witnesses and prepared a preliminary report for the secret of the pink chewing gum. Okay, what's going on here? You don't have enough information right now to reconstruct the sequence of events and figure out who committed the crime. In the morning, you can instruct any of your subordinates to continue the investigation. Okay. So I, I, I can't do anything right now. So in the morning, we'll just figure it out. I'm not going to worry about it then. This is security, John Elmer. Mr. Nash, it's good that you guys got started working on my investigation so soon. The cops in Sharpwood aren't as bad as everyone says. I'm not a poor man, but someone steals something from your home, they steal the most valuable thing of all, your sense of security. Today they took your video player, tomorrow they take your wife. Kind of an escalation, but I, I see the train of thought. By force, you know what I mean? I can't allow this, so I'm ready to do whatever it takes to bring them to justice. I have a small business for installing water supply systems in homes. In other words, we install toilets so homeowners don't have to do their business outdoors. Here's what I propose. If you put your best people on this and solve the investigation, then in return, I'll install brand new toilets for all the cops in the area. You can't imagine how grateful the guys will be. You think they like to freeze their asses off outside? Especially when it's late at night? I feel like we, we talked to a similar guy. Mr. Nash talked to a, guy, a similar guy that was not doing anything about toilets. Definitely drug related. Drug paraphernalia. Music kind of loud. I mean, it's good. It's great. Jazzy. Snazzy. Uh, uh, on some witch's moonshine. The old invalid is, oh, I don't know if that word is appropriate, is hawking his wares, shaking his crutch in the air. It'll turn any cripple into a man. People are gathered around hoping for a taste. Take a swig from his bottle. I doubt that's smart. Order the man to close up shop, restrain the cripple. Well, he hasn't done anything technically wrong other than being told to move along and he hasn't moved along so we'll just order him to close up shop birch you have the best negotiating talk to the man complete. see that's all you gotta do talk to people like i said the crippled man accepted the situation and surrenders to the police while his customers griped and moaned they'll be fine there's a bar right in front of them hold your horses and he got some experience out of that good old gildenstern moved up to level 70 so we're just gonna Keep in increasing y'all's professionalism, making you smooth on the job, smooth with the talking, smooth with the shooting, smooth with the sneaking, smooth with the pops, you know what I'm saying? Just real smooth, y'all. 1 a.m. in the day. Nice. Oh, we got some monkeys out of it too. Some good old tobs, 22 tobs. We definitely need to hire some people. I'm not even gonna sit here and pretend like we don't. Uh, let's see here. Gully Lahi has some intelligence strength, and she's only 17. Oh, dude, wait a minute. McGuire, his energy is kind of low. He's, he's, he's kind of senior, but he's got a lot of professionalism, and he's got some pretty good strengths, too, and he's only costing 11. I think it's a pretty good deal. Yeah, bring McGuire on the shift. He's he's hired. Sorry, man. Even though his, his energy is kind of low, we'll give him a day off, and hopefully he comes back stronger for us. Who's working tomorrow? I just hired a guy, so he's definitely working. That's for sure. You're going to work. Mustard, you had to go take care of your kids, so you had a day off. 
Flower pots, uh, you can take a break. Rosencrantz, get your butt in there. Let's see, Birch, you can take a break. Shini, you had a day off. You can get your butt in there. Aaronovich, take a day off. Flimsy, get your butt in there. Uh, Kurosawa, you took a day off. Let's see who else is there. You can take a day off. Sparlight, get your ass in there. Belmont, you can take a day off. Guildenstern, you need some sleep, my dude. And you can take a day. Oh, wait, I might need somebody. Hold on. Who's got better? 35. Yeah, you're going to have to come back to shift off. Get your level up before you take a break. Um, you can take a day. Nine. That's nine people. That's pretty good. Hey, one more day with Birch. Yeah, everybody else take a day off. Cool. Feeling pretty good about that shift. Shift seems strong. My two brothers in the lead here. All right, in the day. This is a lot of fun. Not gonna lie, it's a lot of fun. It's kind of like playing. Uh, oh, we did kind of play like a sim game, huh? We played. Uh, it was a crafty sim game. Um, uh, uh, uh Ravenous Devils. That was kind of like that. That was our first actual introduction to something like that. That was a lot of fun. Enjoy Ravenous Devils. Sure. Wish there was more to it. Mr. Nash, could you come over here for a second? We need to talk. Doctor Kanean just. Hold on. Hold on. One second. Tip, what the hell? What are you trying to do? Don't you remember what happened to Vic? You want that thing to explode in your hands? You want to lose your fingers? Put it back right now. Until you get some new cartridges, no one touches the shotguns. We agree. Aw, oh, come on. I'm not going to shoot it. I just wanted to use it to scare old Kleiner. <laughs> want to see that stubborn idiot shit himself? Yeah, he's probably going around in diapers. You seen that fossil recently? You don't think I he... am not listening. Just put that thing back. Damn it, Lily. Stop acting like you're everybody's mother. I'll stop playing, mother, when you idiots stop acting like children. Yeah, Max. yeah. Thanks a bundle. You won't be talking like that after I... What's your name, son? Tip Rami, sir. Why do you need a shotgun, Tip Rami? To frighten an old man named Herman Kleinert, sir. He's a local cobbler. Mm, the thing is, sir, the old man's grandson, Matthias Kleinert, recently raped a schoolteacher, and now no one knows where he is. I'm sure, sir, I mean, everyone is sure, that old Kleinert is hiding his grandson somewhere. We tried talking to him, but it got us nowhere. To be honest, sir, the grumpy old maniac just stood in his door waving his gun, so talking just isn't going to work. Uh, I want to squeeze the old dirtbag, sir. Squeeze him good and get him to talk. Kleinert's gun shoots salt. Salt? That's right, sir. Salt. Well, what's the difference? I'm not saying he was going to shoot me. I just wanted to scare the old goat, you know? It's not like I'm going to shoot him. <laughs> Probably. When you joined the sheriff's department, they gave you a gun, right? Of course, sir. But who's scared of a tiny little pea shooter? Everybody in Sharpwood has a gun. What else did they give you? I'm sorry, sir? When you entered service, what else did they give you? Uh, I was given... issued a uniform, sir. What else? Uh... a radio? And that's it? Uh... and a knife. This knife? That... that that's correct, sir. Big, huh? I... I... I guess so, sir. What do you think, son? Think you could scare somebody with your big knife? I don't... I don't know, sir. Well, think about it. Here you have a big, shiny piece of cold steel, nice and sharp, and you're holding it right to some bastard's neck. You bring it so close that one careless movement and you'll open an artery. But let's say you haven't lived such a clean life. You like to drink, so your hands are a little shaky. They shake all the time. If not today, then maybe tomorrow you'll slice someone open by accident. You think that's scary enough, son? Yes, yeah, yes, sir. It's very scary, sir. Well, then what do you need a shotgun for, son? I... I'll put it back, sir. I'll put it back right now. I like the well, voice actor's voice. What are you waiting for? Jack has a good voice actor. Very, very. It's got the the gravelly nature, the deepness. Do. It's it's Can good. I go. Yes, I just wanted to come to my office in the evening before you go home. Okay. Okay. The only thing I don't really enjoy is the fact that again we're seeing a situation here where the sheriff Lily is unable to command command her men, and this new guy who everybody just is ready to believe was an undercover cop. 
has them easily scared. They're easily falling in line. As you notice, he's saying, sir, 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 sir. Um, and Lily just getting no respect, man. I feel bad for Lily. Lily's going to have to put her foot down. She's going to have to stand up for herself a little bit more and, and tell old Jack, hey, shut up. I don't need you to back me up. Or, I don't need you to take over for me. I got this. I can handle myself. But whatever. Until she does that, they're going to keep walking. Rosencrantz didn't come into work today. Okay, Rosencrantz, you're one of my senior officers, too. Mr. Nash, yesterday we cut down a huge oak tree that it could have made it across... The, wait, such a huge oak tree that it could have made it across the Great Rift from edge to edge. Do you remember Lenny, the drummer for my band? So we made him a bunch of sticks from this oak, and in honor of the victory, he decided to try to play with a metronome for the first time. But after just a minute of playing, he had some kind of attack. He was shaking all over, and foam comes out of his mouth. We had to force one of his drumsticks between his jaw so he didn't grind away his fucking teeth. Excuse my language. Anyway, the guy drew lots and the guys drew lots, and today is my day to sit with Lenny. We need him to get better. The concert at my cousin's cousins is coming up. I know you don't mind, Mr. Nash, and tomorrow I'll definitely be on duty. I've already ironed my uniform. Why don't I have an option to fire this guy? What? What? Where is that option at? What? Why do I keep getting continue? Why is this guy just not being sent home? Go be a drummer, dude. Clearly, that's what your your passion is. Go do it. I'm all in support of following your dreams, man. That's really important. Do it. Be free of the commitment that this sheriff's office is is forcing you to be a part of. Again, I kind of just want to auto give because I just don't see a reason to manage who gets what for the most part um yeah you got a lot of stuff why did you get so much stuff they give you a lot uh give somebody who doesn't have anything something i guess nope everybody got a lot of stuff actually i take that back auto assign again that's fine start today you can send your cops to collect additional information or look for new frames on the suspects. Any cop engaged in an investigation will be unavailable for most of the day. That's fine. Who's smart? Who's going out there to help? The secret of the pink chewing gum. Who's smart? McGuire, I know you're smart, but I need you out on the streets. Uh, somebody with high intelligence. Birch has got intelligence. jenny has got some intelligence. Clemsy has some intelligence. Yep, everybody's got some intelligence, at least a little bit. You're way too young. McGuire and Mustard... Oh, nope, just McGuire has the strongest intelligence. Who had the second? Uh, and also Birch. I guess we'll send Birch out there. Yeah, go be a detective, Birch. Today, Birch will look for new clues. Today, Birch will look for new frames for version one. Plumber. Today, Birch will look for new frames for version two. Schoolboy. Look for some clues, man. I don't know. Wait. Okay, these are the frames. We have all the clues? Don't still VCR from the... Clues, one, two, three, four. I can't remember. They say we needed more clues or more frames. Uh, get some frames. How about that? I'm only going to send one cop because we don't have 13. I don't have a lot to spare, so we're just going to send one for now. Don't have a lot of cops. Code I. Code I at the courthouse. In an, unknown per the, an unknown person entered the court building and stole the personal files of convicts from the archive. Really? Okay. Uh, she didn't even you can handle that by yourself. She's kind of a middle of the road. Uh, she's kind of strong, actually. Let's send somebody who's more middle of the road, like, uh, either Muyazaka or Kurosawa. Yeah. Yeah, go handle that, my man. Intelligence, got some intelligence to him. Yeah, you can, you, you got that. Meanwhile, we'll go over here, and an armed gunman with a stocking on his head was trying to rob a bank. The guard saw that the gun in the robber's hands was only a toy, and open fire, the guy raced out into the street. All right, McGuire, you're up, I guess. No, you're too high to go up first. Let's get a shinny. And Meridian, we'll just get you up there for some experience, but it doesn't seem like we need much more than that. Send them out there to handle their business. Two patrols out. 
Here's Rosencrantz. Hello, is that Mr. Nash? I'm pretty sick here. Don't think I can make it to work today. I'm calling for another urgent matter. I need to pick up some things from the laundry. I've got nothing clean at home, not even a sheet. And the doctor said that I can't lie on my dirty, sweaty sheets or I'll never recover. Can you help me? Of course, I wouldn't ask you to personally go to the laundry for me. God forbid. My friend who's on shift right now, he could do it for me. Please, just let him off work for a little while so he can come help me out, okay? The only reason I'm doing this is because we need people. So I'm hoping this gets this person back in quicker. Just don't take one of my better officers. Who did you take? Climsy? Okay, Climsy went to go take care of this matter. Because I know the moment I say no, because the, the rational thought is to be like, what the fuck? No, dude, that's your own personal business. You take care of that. We're going to say that, and then we're going to be down an officer. Or, he, or even worse, he's going to be like, oh, I'm still sick. I'm coming to work. He's going to make other officers sick. Then we lose four people. All right, a guy with a stocking on his head is sitting on a bicycle near the bank. Okay, let's not kill him by ramming him. Turn on the siren. Shoot into the air. We don't need to go right into shooting. Turn on the siren. That seems fair enough. Uh, the leader will turn it on. Turn it on. The criminal ignores the siren and rides away on the bike. Of course they do. Ram the offender's bicycle. Cut him off. Order him to stop. Cut him off? What, what, why would I order him to stay? I'm going to listen to stop. Don't really want to kill him, so we'll cut him off. You got it, right? You can handle that, right? The patrol car quickly pulled in front of the bicycle. He crashed into the car, fell off the bicycle, and was easy prey for the police. It turned out that the guy wanted to get a hold of some money to buy himself a car. Well, I mean, we're going to give him a ride no matter what. Maybe not to the place he wanted to go, but he's going to get a ride. Oh, 530. We're on our way with the 530s. A large man was crossing the road at a green light and almost got ran over. A car filled with noisy teenagers skidded to a stop inches away from him. The man decided to teach the young driver the rules of the road and dragged him out of the car. Whoop his ass? Mustard, do you want to take lead on this one? Damn, but Mustard by himself can handle it. Spurlock, I guess you can provide backup. You should always have one partner with you at all times, just in case some things get a little, you know, a little wild. Nash, the woman... The women I deal with at home are already driving me up the wall. I can't be babysitting women while I'm on while I'm at work, too. Are you kidding me? This guy's a sexist mustard. You can't be black, man, and a sexist dog. No, 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 no. There's enough problems in the world. All right, uh, we're not going to send you to Lily, so... My man, McGuire. <sighs> Going out there. Then again, she didn't want to work with somebody either. Everybody's got issues. 511, what is this? Wait, what is this? Here we go. Uh, a dark sedan ran over a boy who was running across the road and attempted to flee the scene. All right, well, go get him. Mustard, you definitely got that wrong, right? We are out of cops. Go handle business. We need some cops to get back on shift, please. Come on. People get back on shift. All right, we got Shinny back. She's a senior, so that's good at least. A large man has pulled a young driver out of a car and thrown him over the bumper. The boy's friends jump out, one of them readying a hockey stick. Okay, see, now that's a weapon. Now we can escalate force. Now I can bring out a taser if need be. Calm everybody down. We have great negotiation with McGuire, so we can try to calm everybody down. Let's see if that works. If not, we're going to throw a stun grenade. Okay, that worked. The cop managed to cool everybody off and took them all down to the station. Oh, everybody's getting booked. Wow. Okay, well, thanks, McGuire. Hell yeah. Uh, strength is not going to be Mr. McGuire's. <laughs> His forte. We'll give him... Um, speed would be funny. Uh, shoots faster than another cop. Yeah, let's give him speed. I kind of like that. A cop, well, yeah, shoots a revolver three times in a row. Better chance of dodging enemy shots. Wow, that's really cool. Good job, McGuire. I knew that was a great hire. Look at us, man. Choosing the right choice and bringing on the right people. Alice on the Streets by Pierce Rosencrantz. Hey, Mr. Nash, it's me again. Thanks for helping with the laundry. I'm finally lying on fresh sheets now, and I'm already feeling better. But I, I got all mixed up when I had that damned temperature, and I forgot I needed to pick up my dog, Alice, from the vet. In fact, I'm already late, and if no one comes for her today, the poor girl will just get thrown out onto the street. My friend is ready to go pick Alice up real quick and bring her home. You'll let him off work, right? I love animals. I'm a sucker for animals. I don't want this animal thrown on the streets. We have no officers right now. Please don't let that animal get thrown out on the street. This was so annoying. But he got to me with the animal thing, man. I don't want an animal thrown on the street. The dark sedan with a broken wheel has stopped abruptly on the roadside. It's impossible to make out anything through the tinted windows. 
This is the one that ran over the boy too, right? All right, well, let's not just roll up on it. Sneak up on the sedan. Do we have a good sneak here? Stealth, no stealth on either one of y'all. Okay, we can watch the sedan. Ah. Ah, uh, turn on the siren, dude. Let's just... Also make anything out through the tinted windows. Here's what I'm afraid of, right? Like, if we sit here and watch the sedan and the person has already fled from the sedan, then, I mean, they're, they're, we're giving them more chance to run away. Versus if we turn on the siren, maybe we'll see movement nearby. Or when we notice that nobody's coming out of the vehicle, we can be like, okay, something's odd about this. So, turn on the siren. Oh, here we go. The cop turned on the patrol car siren. The dark sedan with the broken wheel jerked into motion, but the driver failed to gain control of the broken machine, crashed into a pole, and flew headfirst through the windshield. It turned out that the driver was a teenage girl. She died without regaining consciousness. I should have just watched the vehicle. We have a green... Like, this is a good thing. I don't, I don't feel good about that, dude. Like, okay, obviously she's wrong for running over the boy. Who knows if she has a license or not. But the idea of uh, a kid dying because they're so afraid. Like, uh, clearly she's afraid. That's probably why she, you know, stopped. And now she, ah, that's just sad. Ah, well. We got to level up out of that. Yay. Uh, we need some people with some stealth or something going on. Because we're, we're, we're in trouble. Sneak up on end without even knowing. Hides better behind small cover. That's great. We just need some people with some stealth. All right, we're getting our people back. Yeah, I just feel bad, man, that the girl the girl died. She's probably just terrified, you know? And then the cops show up, and now she's really scared because she's like, oh, I'm going to be in so much trouble. Head first, man. Wasn't even wearing a seatbelt, so clearly clearly not thinking. Not smart. Not smart at all. Public indecency. That should be funny. The factory manager looked out his office window and saw someone taking a shit on his old car. What is with this town of people shitting on everything? Is that, like, the ultimate form of disrespect in this town? Drop your draws and just start shitting on everybody's property? I guess that's actually the ultimate form of disrespect anywhere, but just it seems really prevalent here. That seems to be their main crime. It's not murder. It's not theft. It's shitting. You got like pigeon problems. All right. Uh, who's going to handle this? Uh, I, I, uh, Spurlight, go out on the call, I guess. Even though every time I feel like I put you out there, it is a problem. And send him as a backup. Yeah, but I, I don't see us needing more than that. All right. This is two people. Go handle y'all's business. All right, Pierce Rosencrantz. Mr. Nash, it's me again. It seems like we only just talked a minute ago. Haha, <laughs> all right, I'm about to tell this fool no. Thanks for helping me with the dog. Uh, I was terrified at the thought that she might be turned out onto the street, but today I've got uh, even bigger things to worry about. My temperature has only dropped a little and I had to rush my wife to the hospital. She just went into labor. I got here in such a hurry that I forgot to turn off the stove. Turn off the stove. I make myself chicken broth for colds, all according to the grandmother's recipe. My friend says he can go turn it off. He'll literally be done in an hour. I hope it's not a problem, and you'll have my gratitude to my dying day. Look, here's the problem. I know that if I say no to this guy, and I want to say no so bad, it's going to cause a fire, and I'm going to have to send, like, four cops, and I'm going to lose everybody. Great job, whoever wrote this, in knowing, like, how to just slowly escalate the, the request in a way that you can't really excuse me say no it just doesn't make sense to say no i should have said no the first time to the laundry oh my god who's going it's clumsy again clumsy you need a new friend that dude's a dick that dude is a straight dick we better get something out of saying yes to all of his request 540 in progress high school huh a man came in to pick his son up from school but instead started harassing a young history teacher what how does that happen Everybody should be outside. Why is he up mess with the history teacher? All right, uh, I guess we'll send Shinny. You can be the lead on that. Uh, Merit Man, you need some experience. Curacao, you can back them up. That seems like a pretty steady team. And then we have Mustard sitting in the background waiting to take care of a call by himself because he's senior, yo. He's senior on us. You know, I I've been sleepy all day. Can I go take a nap for an hour? Otherwise, I don't think I'm going to pull this off. What? What? Aren't you also the one that told me that you don't want to work another day? Yeah, I don't want this guy. Ah, but he's still like mid-level too. That's the problem. He adds a good strength, but no, he's got to go. 
Goodbye, dude. You just got X'd. Fired. Straight fired. That's crazy. Um. Yeah, now we don't have a lot of people, so it's going to be... Oh, boy. It has to be, like, mustered by himself? Nope, it would be all of them. See, this is what happens when you fire people. Now we're really in trouble. Uh, He's fired and gone. Can't put him out. He's definitely gone. Um... Here's the problem. I send these two, strong two. I got one guy left, and he is a rookie, rookie, rookie's rookie. I hope I get somebody back to the office real quick, real soon. Nash, the, oh my god, he's the freaking sexist. Mm. I don't have anybody to send to this. She can't do it by herself. He wanted to take a nap. He's not enough. They're not going to let me see. Ah, oh my God. You got to be kidding me, dude. So he just won't work with a woman, period. Just shy, dude. Like 40 points shy. Let's see if somebody gets back in time before this, this whole thing goes sideways. An old man with his trousers down is sitting on the hood of the manager's car, singing something to himself. Let him finish. No, just just restrain the old man, I guess. That's the best thing we got. We got strength. Clemsy, go out there and show your strength, my friend. 520 complete. There we go. Cop managed to overpower and arrest the criminal. It turned out that the old man wanted to take revenge on the factory manager for forcing him to retire. You get a pension, my man. I know it sucks, and you got to find a new hobby, but you get a pension. Hope. Hey, she leveled up. What we really need, again, is, like, stealth. Yeah. Let's go stealth. Cool, cool, cool. All right, do we get some people back? Please hurry up and get me some people back. I know, 19 seconds. I know. Get me some people back who can work this case. Come on. Let's go. All right, here we go. Birch just showed up on the scene. That works great. Send Birch and send Shinny out. I'm going to end up firing Mustard. He's senior, but the whole not working with women thing is really bothering me as well. That almost screwed me. Oh, the secret of the pink. Somebody found something. The cops prepared a report on the work they've done. That's right, because Birch was doing the investigation, came back from the investigation at perfect timing, and then sent him out on another call. Birch is an all-star. Birch uh, found new friends for version one of the investigation. Let's see what we got here. Okay. All right. I'm liking the look of it. Still missing one. And then schoolboy still missing three, four. Why was I miscounting like that? I think we have all the clues. I feel like the clues are there. We just need, yeah. So we may have to send two officers on this next case to investigate that if we want to solve that case in relatively quick time. This game is fun. This is addicting, dude. I hope this game is long. I hope we get to put some serious time into this. Investigation, Mikola Musga. Mikola Musga interrogated some of the witnesses and prepared a preliminary report for the mystery of the black box. Okay, well, we have two possible suspects but not enough clues. I'm thinking there's only four clues. So I think we have enough clues. We just need frames for that other case. This one, we need frames and one more clue. Cool. Cool, cool. Thanks, Mirazura. Uh, Mira. Who is it? Mizuka? Yeah, thanks for taking care of that. The man has pushed the teacher back into the chalkboard and is reaching up under her skirt. Oh. Oh, it's like this? Oh, you can tase this dude. The girl is trying to push him away with one hand and is reaching for her pointer with the other. And the teacher, her pointer. Why would I do that? Why would I instigate that? Restrain the criminal. Use a shocker. You don't have the required equipment. Damn. I wish we had the shocker. All right. Well, if we don't have the shocker, restrain the criminal. Chinny is really strong, I think. Get his ass on the ground immediately. Cop managed to uh, overpower and arrest the criminal. He has immediately repented of his behavior. Uh, I've always been like this. I, I can't control myself. When I see a teacher, I just lose my head. My dick stands up like a steel rod. Yeah, he needs to go to prison. I'm sure there'll be plenty of teachers, and he'll have all the steel rods he wants. Um, well, yeah, we can go ahead and finish her strength off and make her super cop, so let's do that. The cop can carry a wounded ally or valuable cargo like he's dragging a weightless father. Again, it's not all he. Why is this game got so many he's? Why is there no she's when they know that they've created more than one type of character? All right, whatever. All right, cool. We got a lot of our cops back. I think the end of the day is approaching here. 
Oof. Man, look at our dude, our forces. It's it's hurting though. You can just look at all the energy. All down. Everybody's morale is just like they need a break. But like I've worked like worked them like two weeks straight or something. Definitely gonna buy. I was gonna say buy people. Don't like the way that's coming out. We're not gonna say that. Definitely going to hire some people. Because we need them. We got 32. I don't know why this is our currency. Why don't we just have real cash? We haven't even used these, so I don't need to buy more of these, but we need people buy it. Let's see here. Jessica, uh, uh huh. Humming, humming, humming. I just need people. Uh, uh, 16, 17. 16 gives us full strength. 17 gives us, gives us somebody with some more oomph, more professionalism. And they came with their own taser and cartridge. Sure, why not? Uh, and just in case we need a recruit, I guess we can spend eight. No, save your money. Save your money. That helps us replace that one guy we lost, too. So, and 60 just doesn't seem worth it. Or does it? We need bodies. Yeah, frig it. Why not? We need bodies. All right, who's working today? McGuire, you're taking the day off. Mustard, even though you're a sexist ass. You can come back to work. You can come back to work. You can take a break. You definitely need to take a break. He did do a lot. You can take a break. You can come back to work. You can come back to work. Take a break. Take a break, because I know how you can go ahead. Take a break. Nope, you're coming back to work. You're taking back to work. You're taking it back to work. Who's the new guy that we hired? It was a 270 guy, right? Yeah, I think it was this guy right here. Yeah. Yeah, seven. That still only gave us seven of 15 cops. Not a lot of manpower. We are just persistently understaffed here, but I'd rather everybody get full health and energy instead of trying to work everybody to the ground and have no people left. So, you want to talk? 